Devin Lart versus Levon. What a match, guys. That was very one-sided, I think we'll all agree. And I think a lot of people's guesses were right about what was going to happen. And I'm going to discuss that right now. Now, firstly, the score. It was a clean sweep by Levon. The only real match that needs discussed is round one. On round one, they both held the centre. Devon had the slight cup at the start. But Levon was just playing with him. And then he went straight into the press and pinned Devon. It looked like Devon had something in that end range Kings move. But Levon was able to touch the pad with his upper forearm, which counts as a pin. So Devon lost that match. Maybe if he was able to hold a bit higher, the whole round and rounds to come would have been different. But after that, it was once again a clean sweep in every single match. Now, I'd love to hear your comments on what you thought about those matches. And was it what you expected? Now, I know a lot of people are saying they're disappointed in Devon. And that it was just a joke of a match. But... I don't think he should be disappointed in himself. I do believe Levin is just on a whole other level compared to everyone else. Especially to Devon who is a cardio puller. who likes to take long matches compared to Levin who likes to instantly pin. It was just a bad matchup from the start. Levin was always going to win this. I don't think Devon had a chance in the rematch at all. Also, Devon put up a good fight, especially pulling all the rounds. Didn't try to pull any sort of injury move to say he couldn't pull anymore. He finished up and there was no, no doubts about who was the winner. They both came in as strong as they could and both left the winners. But Levon gets to keep that hammer and stay champion. And Devon is finally retiring from the super heavyweights and he's moving to... The 105 kg limit bracket and so we will not see Devon face any super matches anymore. I don't know if that will be uh, Vitaly or not. Vitaly might come down and wait to face Devon but that is Devon done with all the big guys. Tell me your thoughts about Devon retiring from the super heavyweights guys. My opinions on it. I think it's a good move. He's... Basically, I think he's 50 now, and I don't think it's very healthy at all for him to be keeping that size and having to push the amount of drugs he has to to stay that big and stay that strong. Once he drops down to 105, he's basically never going to lose because Devon has a clean sweep on that whole bracket. No one, no one touches Devon in that whole bracket, including Levon if he came down and wait. It's just... That's purely Devon's bracket and he is made for that weight limit. I don't think Devon will ever retire from actually arm wrestling and, comp and competing. He may, may retire from competing at high levels and just do some tournaments and stuff. But he's always going to be a figure in arm wrestling. And this is one of the main turning points of arm wrestling. Devon retiring from super heavyweights. It's going to bring a lot more views to the the heavyweight class, 105. And I believe it's a good turning point to get some more views from the lighter weight guys. And bring more attention to them rather than all just these super matches between the same people over and over again. We want to see these new matches which Devin's going to bring in. So peace out and I'll see you in the next video.